What's up, I'm Van and today I want to show how to convert from radians to degrees and from degrees to radians. So the first thing I want to look at is what is a radian and here's the definition of a radian. But the way that I understand it, because sometimes the definitions could be a bit confusing, is I look at the unit circle and on the unit circle the radius is equal to 1. And if we look at the circumference, which is coming from the equation 2 pi r, for the unit circle, the circumference, if we plug in r equals 1, is just 2 pi. And how I understand radians is I imagine taking a pair of scissors and cutting the unit circle and taking the circumference and extending it out into a line like this. So that represents the intercepted arc. And the entire length of this line is going to be 2 pi, which is the entire circumference. And then this bottom here represents the radian measure, the length of the circumference. And up top here, I'm going to write degrees. So if I don't spin at all, that corresponds to a measure of zero degrees. But if I spin the entire circumference, that corresponds to a spin of 360 degrees. So what this tells us is that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. And what I could do from here is say, well, if I cut this in half, this line, if I cut it in half, 2 pi divided by 2 is just 1 pi. And if I cut 360 degrees in half, I get 180 degrees. So this is actually the one that is most helpful. We could say that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And this is actually going to be what's going to allow us to convert from radians to degrees and from degrees to radians. Now I could cut this more. I could cut this in half again and call this pi over 2. And this would be 90 degrees if I take half of 180. But once again, this is going to be what we're going to use to do all of our conversions. So for the first set of questions here, we want to convert from degrees to radians. And if you want to convert from, we're going from degrees to radians, we're going to use what we found before. Before we found that pi radians was equal to 180 degrees. So if you want to convert from degrees to radians, you're going to multiply by pi over 180. So for all of these questions here, we're going to go times pi over 180. So starting with the first one, we have 30 degrees. If we multiply by pi over 180 degrees, the idea is the units cancel out. And so the degrees go away, and now we're just reducing 30 over 180. And if we cross off the common zeros, we're reducing 3 over 18, and dividing the uh, divide the top and bottom by 3, and you're going to get 1 over 6. So this whole thing reduces to pi over 6. Now, depending on how skilled you are with fractions, if you're struggling with reducing you could always do something like this you press 30 divided by 180 and let's make sure we write it incorrectly so we have 30 over 180 and if we press math enter enter it's going to turn our answer into a fraction and you see it reduces it to 1 over 6 for us so then we just have to know to attach the pi we have 1 over 6 times pi or just pi over 6. so moving on to the next one here if we look at 90 degrees 90 degrees, we're going to multiply once again by pi over 180 degrees. And this time, we divide the top and bottom by 90 degrees, and this is going to reduce to 1 half. So 90 degrees is the same thing as pi over 2. So we have pi over 2 radians for the second one. Now for the third one here, 45 degrees, we multiply by pi over 180. And let's say here that we struggle with the fractions, but if we divide the top and bottom by 45, this is going to make pi over 4. But let's say we, we couldn't do that, and we have 45 over 180. We press Enter, Math Enter, Enter, and it changes our fraction to reduced form to 1 over 4 pi, or just pi over 4. So now we just write it over here. We have this reduces to pi over 4. So for the fourth example here, we're looking at 120 degrees. And if we convert this one, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by pi over 180. And if we divide the top and bottom by 60 degrees, this is going to reduce to 2 over 3. So this becomes 2 pi over 3. So we have 2 pi over 3 radians. For question 5, we're going to take 160 degrees. We multiply by pi over 180. And if you divide the top and bottom by 20, on top, if we divide by 20, that's going to make 8. And if we divide the bottom by 20, we're going to get 9. So this reduces to 8 pi over 9 radians. And now for question 6, same idea. We're doing 225 degrees times pi over 180. And divide the top and bottom by 45, and you're going to get 5 pi over 4. So that's the first six examples here. But if we move on here, 
just two more for converting to radians. We're going to convert 270 degrees to radians. So we have 270 degrees times pi over 180. And divide the top and bottom by 90. On top, if you divide by 90, we're dividing by 90 degrees on top. We're going to get 3. And if we divide by 90 degrees on bottom, we're going to get 2. So this reduces to 3 pi over 2 radians. And now for the last example for this set, we have 330 degrees. We're multiplying by pi over 180. And let's say we just want to use this calculator trick again. If we do just the numbers, 330 over 180. And we press enter and we press math enter enter. That's going to reduce it to 11 pi over 6. So we're going to have 11 pi over 6 radians. I should say it reduces the fraction part to 11 over 6, but our final result is going to be 11 over 6 times pi or 11 pi over 6 radians. So for the next set of questions, now we want to convert from radians to degrees. And we're using that idea again that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So this time around, we want to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. Because the idea is that the units cancel out. If we have radians up top, we want the radian unit on bottom with our conversion factor. So if we apply that here, we have pi over 9 times 180 degrees over pi radians. And now the pi's cancel, and 180 divided by 9 is 20. So we're going to get 20 degrees for the first one. Now, a nice little shortcut for these, if there's a pi in your radian measure and you want to convert to degrees, you could always just plug in 180 for pi. So if I do 2 times 180 divided by 5, that's going to give me an answer of 72 degrees for the second one. But I'll just show you that we get the same answer if we use the conversion factor. If we multiply by 180 degrees over pi, notice the pi's cancel. And if we do 180 divided by 5, that's going to go in 36 times. And then 36 times 2, that's what's giving us the 72 degrees. So for the next one here, we have 3 pi over 2. And we're going to multiply by 180 over pi. And now the pi's cancel. We have 180 over 2 is 90. And then 90 times 3 is 270 degrees. So we'll move on to the next set of questions here. And now we're just looking at 3 pi. So if we have 3 pi, we're going to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. The pi's cancel. And now we're just doing 3 times 180. And that's going to give us 540 degrees. And then for question 13, we have 11 pi over 6. So we multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. And now 180 over 6 is 30. And if we do 11 times 30, that's going to give us 330 degrees. So now moving to question 14 here, we have 10 pi over 9. So if we do 10 pi over 9 times 180 degrees over pi radians, then what we have here is 180 over 9 is 20. And then 20 times 10 is 200 degrees. All right, and for any one of these, if you're not sure, you could always just plug in and check. So we have 10 times pi. We just said uh, substitute 180 and divide by 9. And you see here we get 200, and it matches. OK, for question 15, we have negative 5 pi over 4. So we're going to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. And now the pi's cancel. And 180 over 4 is going to simplify to 45. And you got 45 times negative 5 is negative 225. So this is going to make negative 225 degrees. And now the last one is a good question because when it's a radian measure without an actual pi in it, what you need to do is you just need to take 1, in this case, and multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. So let's say here I want to round my answer to the nearest thousandths place then I'm just going to take 180 and I'm going to divide by the value of pi from the calculator. So I'm going to press second and then this up arrow here. And if we do 180 over pi to the nearest thousandths place, it's going to be 57.296. So we'd have 57.296. So I'm going to say this is an approximation. We have 57.296 degrees. OK, so uh, if you do encounter something like this and you forget which way it goes, I would just look at an easy radian measure question, something like, let's say, pi over 2, and say, oh, if I know this is 90 degrees, I have to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. 
and that's going to give me 90 degrees. So this is just like a little trick. Look at something easy and that'll guarantee that you're setting up the conversion factor correctly for examples like the last one. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on converting from radians to degrees and from degrees to radians. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.